As I said in part 10, I'm going to rebuild the keyboard again. So the keyboard is sitting on the bench. Uh, this is probably going to be very little talking. I'm probably going to whiz through this when you see this very much in fast mode. So because you've seen me take it to pieces before, you've seen me put it back together again. So let's get on with this. Uh, I want to get this done and dusted today. Remember, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Go over to Instagram and follow me there. Go over to Facebook, follow me there. That's where the normal notices are. And consider becoming a Patreon. I thought this was a, probably a good place to pause because this is something that didn't I didn't do on the original strip down because I didn't take um, this actually off the keyboard. Um, I did everything with it in, in situ on the frame. Um, but the way Roland did a lot of keyboards around this time is they didn't screw the circuit board to the frame. What they did was they riveted the circuit board to the frame. And so what they did was they effectively had these plastic rivets. Okay, so that piece went through the board and then through the frame. And then this piece would go through that, effectively spreading the legs of the rivet out, just like a pop rivet, if anybody's ever seen a pop rivet. Uh, and that's how the, the actual circuit board was secured to the frame. There was no screwing involved. It was literally this sort of rivet plastic rivet thing. Hence the reason why I'm actually being very, very um, careful how I remove these rivets because I may need to reuse them even though the guy who supplied the new keyboard um, has stated or has given me some new pot rivets or plastic rivets. Um, I just don't know whether I'm going to need them or not. So I've kept them. Um, I've been fairly meticulous in how I'm taking this keyboard to pieces. Um, so the next the next part of this will be to uh, uh, clean what we've got um, and then reassemble it. So with the new piece. Now what I have noticed on the new keyboard 
is that when I did size this up, I'll show you this actually in a minute. Let me take the, the last of this off. So I'm just using a, a screwdriver to, to get some leverage on the circuit board so I can lift it and then the rivets should just pop out like that. Move these. Uh, and you can tell they're doing the job because they don't just, just pop out, you have to pull them like so. Uh, is it this one? Yes, it's this one. Um, so what the new keyboard is, exactly the same keyboard, but you will notice that the connection strip is here, not there. Now, if you look at the, the keyboard itself, it actually has multiple connection points on it, and I have lined it up, so it should work, but that was something I noticed when I took the, um, the old, when I was sizing up the, the keyboard to go back onto this frame. Right. I'm going to go and clean the keys because they've got rather dusty just sitting around. They're given a good clean when they came off first time round, but this time round they need another clean, so that won't take very long. 